Websites, ah, the bane of our existence these days. If you're in technology, you probably at least looked at them. If you're deep into technology, you've probably redone one. But let me give you just an insight into what we've done here. Um, we happened to get a grant that was basically to redo our website. And we found that at the time, we also wanted to rebrand a little bit. So we hired a firm, that a marketing firm, that helped us tweak our, our logo and those kinds of things and come up with the new colors and everything. And then they passed that information once we'd okayed it on to a firm that built us the new cascading spreadsheets or the basis and the templates for our website. Now, that sounds like a really good thing, and it was. It was great. Um, unfortunately, the amount of our grant wasn't large enough, so we ended up having our tech use those templates to actually build out much more because the templates that we were given were only about 12 or 12 or 15, maybe 18 pages, um, or types of pages, and then our tech, our web programmer had to go in and make our hundred and some page website off of those 12 templates. So our, our grant didn't go as far as we wanted it to. Know that these things get really big in a hurry. Um, and know that even though you want to roll them out on a specific date, they probably won't roll out on a specific date. Um, we had an, I think, August 1st deadline, and we, we managed to get up right after Labor Day. So we weren't too far behind. Um, but there are always things that change. And another thing to watch is if, if there's any chance that you'll be changing staff that are responsible for the website or that are um, visionary about the website, make certain to include them and know that if they change, you probably will head off in another direction and that that's another piece that you'll have to find funding for. Um, one of the lessons that we learned in this process is that decision by committee is probably not the best way to go for a website. We had staff involved about, I think nine of our 17 staff were involved on the design team and then we also took input from constituents and um, you're not going to make everybody happy. You're not going to be able to do everything that you'd like to do in that website. Um, we really wanted a lot of interactivity, but with our budget and the kinds of things that we had on the docket at the time, we weren't able to do that. Um, do know how to write for the web. It's different than writing for a brochure. It's much smaller. It's shorter. Um, it needs to be something that people can glance at and then find new information frequently. Um, the old days of a boilerplate, boilerplate page um, for every piece of your program are really gone. It really needs to be short and to the, to the point. Um, they need to be bulleted lines. They need to use keywords. And you need to um, build in the kinds of ways that search engines will find you. And those are difficult things to learn, especially from us because we're a literary organization, so we write stories about everything and they're pages and pages long. <laughs>